Hi, this is Cotta Welch coming to you from the Cavendish Fletcher Community Library. Happy February. It's still winter out there, though right now it doesn't quite feel like it. Um, we have a lot going on, and our theme this month is love. Things we love, things you love, and love with a twist. So our movie display this month is all about movies that you love. These are the top circulating titles from 2018. So if there's something you want to see again, this is a great time to do it. Or if you come in and think, you know what, I never did see Black Panther. I want to see what the hype's all about. Come and get it, because it's in today. And then we have staff picks over here. And those are things that Donna and I love. And Donna and I really challenged ourselves this month to put to pick books that we don't usually recommend. You know, I find myself recommending the same five or six books over and over because I just love them so much. Um, so some of the ones that I chose are uh, The Shoemaker's Wife by Adriana Trigani. And usually I love history, and this one is a history book, but what I love is that it's not about the famous people. This is about a couple in love and kind of getting through the first half of the 20th century. So, gotta love Aunt, uh, Adriana Trigiani. And this one, the War Bride scrapbook is really cool. Um, it is literally a scrapbook with a little bit of information on there. So it's really all about, it's, got a, it's a book with a great sense of place and time. And it's really all about pulling inferences and um, seeing what was going on. And I thought that the author did a fantastic job on this one, pulling different items together to really show what the 40s were like. So right now, I am deeply engrossed in this month's book club book. It's called Ahab's Wife. And the, the Ahab in the book is the Captain Ahab from Moby Dick. Um, and this book is a companion piece. It definitely stands on its own, though it's making me want to go back and revisit Moby Dick. It's written in a very lyrical style. The um, language is kind of 19th century and contemporary with Moby Dick. Uh, and I gotta tell you, this is not a happy book. Um, you know, pretty much anything that you can think of that's not a good thing that happens, happens in this story and I'm only halfway through. Um, you know, don't, don't read this book while you're eating, I will tell you that. But it's kind of like um, Guildenstern and Rosencrantz is, are dead. You could definitely pick up what's going on without reading the original, but I think the book is much richer if you do without Moby Dick and take a look at what's going on. Our book club book for March is um, a lot more accessible and a lot more fun. It is In a Sunburned Country by Bill Bryson. Bill Bryson is one of my favorite authors. He brings a sense of wonder into pretty much everything that he writes. And so this is about several trips he takes across Australia. So you're getting kind of an idea of what Australia is now. And then he also talks about um, the history of Australia from the first fleet. Uh, this We're gonna be discussing this book uh, March 20th, and copies are available at the library desk. I highly recommend this one. We have the audiobook version too. I love this book. Continuing with our theme of love for February, we have these love stories with a twist. Um, you know, there's a lot of books out there where the guy gets the girl in the end, and sometimes it's kind of funny to show, have books that aren't quite the same, or the ones that have some interesting bumps in the road. Um, I happen to really like The Rosie Project. The main character in this book, Don Tillman, has decided that he's going to get married and he does this incredibly weird uh, survey and tries to find a woman who meets what he thinks he wants and things go awry. It's very funny. There's a sequel to this as well. The Thirteenth Tale is definitely about twisted love. This one has got some incest in it and um, it's also the love between sisters. Uh, I don't want to do any spoilers for anybody who maybe hasn't read or listened to this one yet, but it definitely has got some pretty good twists in it. I do love this book. Two other books that are very interesting and definitely have twists on the love story are is An American Marriage. And this was a pretty um, hot book last year. It was on Oprah's Book Club. And it's about a marriage that kind of breaks down um, while the husband in the marriage is in jail. 
very good book. Um, and then Transistor Radio is an older title. It's almost 20 years old, but it could have been written today because it's about transgender love. So these are all really great books. And if you are looking for a traditional love story, believe me, we have boatloads of those too. Our big event for the month of February is our Paint and Munch fundraiser. Paint and Munch um, is a lot like Paint and Sip, except the focus is on eating delicious food while you paint your beautiful picture. The theme of both the picture and the food is tropical. So we have a boat going into the sunset to paint and delicious food like jerk chicken and pulled pork and pina colada cupcakes to eat. Um, this event is on Sunday, February 24th at 1 p.m. here in the library. Tickets are on sale for $40, which includes the food and the painting lesson and all the supplies. Um, this event tends to sell out, so if you're interested, please call the library at 226-7503, or you can email me or Facebook me, and I'm happy to make a reservation for you.